for the Dallas Flat Tires. We have Boosies, Gothers, Crash, and Always Eaten. And then Dallas, we just saw Dallas with Ty Lee, Jassier, I'm lagging, and Lorenzo. And we're getting ready to see this hard point as it jumps off. Yeah, I have to see. Dallas Flat Tire is definitely looking good off that uh, after, off that uh, last series I was sort of watching. I really like the last map that we saw, but overall, definitely have a weak spot a little bit. But, um, you know, we'll have to see how this one goes. Uh, now, Trump's looking all right, though. They're able to get some of the early control. It's going to be on that hill. There's going to be a little bit of engagement right above him. There you go. He's going to be getting that kill up top and move all through the little bit of the destructible wall. You can sort of see a little bit trying to get that kill. I wasn't really quite able to see if he got that one. But, you know, now you're just chilling. Flat Tire is on that hill. And, well, they know exactly where that player is. Is going to be getting that kill. And, well, Flat Tire is starting to rack up some hill time for them. But I think the rotation right now is going to be really, really crucial to get for either side. Yeah, the rotation is really crucial, but you can see that Dallas looked like they got the rotation on this on this rotation when this next hill starts. You can see that Dallas is going to start off close to the hill. Let's see if they get a player on the hill. They finally got a player on this hill. So that's one Dallas player on. You can see three players from Maui all coming from this little left, little bottom, little area. I don't know where it, where, oh, we don't got call out yet. So we're just going to call it areas and left, right, top, bottom. And you can see Maui Chums right there with a nice little break to break into this hill. As, we, as, 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 as I was talking about all that, you can see Dallas, they're making a long little push around this bottom side of this map, trying to push in. Jassier get a kill on got there. He's looking for one more kill to try to break on this hill. And there is a break. For the side of Dallas Flat Tires to take this to get on this hill with 20 seconds left. Yeah, Jacer or J Jassier. I don't know. Is this something about me being <laughs> not able to read stuff correctly? Oh, it always messes me. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I butcher each and every single name just about. I can't go without a cat without butchering some names. So you know, always correct me if I'm wrong. But you know, it's about how it goes with me, unfortunately, sometimes. But oh, it's gonna be Gotham trying to struggling, kind of struggling to get over that. Uh, <laughs> but onto the point. He is able to sort of make his way onto it. It's going to be Dallas Flat Tires with the lead a little bit. But now he comes again. Keeping things very, very competitive. This first map is looking very, very good. And I'm lagging. Is that a gold MP40? Someone's been grinding for this game quite a bit. Uh, maybe. But there you go. Able to find one kill. There's going to be another one on that hill. And he knows that one out. And well, another looks like MP40. Uh, people have been grinding this game a lot more than me. That is apparently a <laughs> for sure. But... Uh, it is going to be Maui Chums. They are going to be on this hill, but Dallas Flat Tires, they're going to be trying to break on in. They are able to start to get some control. Tyler is going to be on this hill, and what will be going down is things going left and right. Kills coming on out left, right, and center, and from every single direction. But at some point, one of these teams is going to have to back on off and say, hey, we got to go over this rotations. And uh, it might be looking like it might be a little bit of Dallas Flat Tires and a little bit of Maui Chums, though. Uh, so like uh, they're going to be uh, pretty much just coming up against the, the heels of Flat Tires in the rotation. Yeah, you can see that the rotation is going on. Dallas Flat Tires is currently there right now. And you can see the kill feet going back and forth. Now each time Dallas Flat Tires are getting killed. Got there with a kill. Gra crash with a kill. But Dallas Flat Tires are still on this hill. Player three, he's making this play through the back. Let's see if he can get him a kill. He's looking for one player. He's making this play. He's making the read. He's trying to get on this hill. He's trying to make a read. And there's the kills for his team. Three down for the size of Maui Chum. Maui Chumps are doing a good job. Eaton got him a nice little credit spot. Who knows where he's outside this? I don't know where he's at, but he had a nice spot. Maui Chumps is on top of this hill. I'm lagging with the big old automaton trying to get him a kill, but Maui Chumps is currently on this hill. Uh, it, it's the, now, nobody's on this hill. The rotation has to start. I, I don't know if there's rotation going on. The player one has taken off. There's nobody on this hill right now for the size of uh, Maui Chum. I'm lagging, just took the last player off. The rotation now is finally getting, it's starting to happen for both teams. Maui Chums is there. Player one and player eight are the first ones to get into battles. Let's see if they can win and let's see who's going to be on this hard point. Yeah, a flurry of kills there. Dallas Flat Tires able to get a series there. Uh, Maui Chums, uh, Gothard there, able to find one, able to get another one there with the nade as well. Yeah, we got that one done, but I mean, it can be out chums right now. Again, that lead for them looking pretty nice, but Dallas Flat Tires responding with the current hold of their own, and well, Maui Chums, they're certainly fighting for it. It's, it's pretty much just left to the 1v1, number 2 versus number 8, and Lorenzo, he comes in, gets that control, and well, now both reinforcements from both sides starting to come on in, and 
Oh, Lorenzo just gonna be chilling at this point. He's gonna be rushing on out. I, I really know, don't know if I would have done that. I think I would have just stuck on that hill, let your team sort of take the, the fire from overhead. But uh, he's gonna be pushing on out. A flurry of kills once again. Flat tires there still on that hill briefly, and the trade's coming on out. And well, it's gonna be uncontested for probably the last few seconds here as the rotation comes on through. But Maui jumps. They get that kill on the rotations. They are able to pretty much set up. They have all four guys watching that point. So this is going to be Daz Flat Tire trying to break on in. And we've got some kills coming on out left and right. And well, let's see what can get done. And well, there you go. One kill there. Boozy's there with one. Isn't quite able to find that second kill. And well, it's going to be Maui Trump's able to hold off Dallas' uh, little offensive there. And well, it's going to be continuing to do so as skill still coming on out. But it's going to be Dallas. It is going to be coming out on top briefly. But there you go. E Able to find one, able to find another, trying to get an another third kill there in that series. Or no, maybe a fourth, sorry. But uh, we'll eventually go down, but it is going to be Maui Chumps still holding holding strong on this hill. And yeah, Maui Chumps, they did a good job. Eden went on a nice little streak. Boosie, he's not on a nice little two streak right now. Crash, he's on top of this hard point hill. He's holding down the hill. And that is, that's what Maui Chumps is doing. They're pulling, they're starting to pull away. In this game, they're starting to get the kills that they need. I'm like, he makes the read on I'm lagging crash. That's a nice kill by crash on I'm lagging. He put the 75 drum on his automaton, so he must know something that nobody else knows but them two. I'm lagging and crash. They must know something about his automaton. But you can see that the rotation is on. Dallas flat tires have to control the control the silver. The game is they just need to hold. Boosies is, is coming in from the bottom, but Dallas flat tires just need to hold this hill right now so they can try to get back. But there's Boosies with the kill on the hill, and that just opened it up. He's waiting for kill number three. He's got it. He's, he's waiting. Now his team is on this on this hill. Boosie just made a great play to break this hill, and he's now starting to trick the play. He finally gets taken down by Lorenzo. Yeah, and well, I mean, Maui Chumps, they are coming out really, really nicely so far. 162 to 102. They have a nice hill lead, like a full hill. A full, full hill lead for them. Uh, Jazz Fly Tires are able to sort of come on in, are able to claim some of the scrap time here. But I mean, Maui Chumps, they have the rotations over to next. This is a point where they are extending their lead, and it is very scary for the Dallas Fly Tires because uh, they are going to need to start to pick up some ground here because uh, Maui Chumps. It's looking like with these hills sort of going a little bit back and forth, but Maui Chums, again, that that hill lead is going to be so tough, I think, on this map to really come by. So uh, we'll come back from. Uh, so we'll have to see how that one sort of continues on. Is I mean, Maui Chums are going to be going over the 200 point mark soon. Um, but Jacer here, or Jesser, able to find one, able to get a second done as well. And that's going to be the nice little signal for the side down by the tire to say, hey, let's push on up. We uh, got two down, and well, there you go, finding another. He's going to be on a five streak right now. And uh, well, as you push on in, how many more kills can you get? The answer is going to be zero. You're going to be getting no more kills out of you, but you will go down. But Dallas Flat Tires, they're fighting for this hill. I'm honestly surprised that they don't even have the control of that hill that Maui Chums was even able to hold on. Yeah, Maui Chums, they really hold on. Maui, Maui Chums, they've been playing together for a long time. And, you know, you can see that they're... They're just camaraderie is just kicking in when it comes to breaking these hills, when it comes to playing together. Look at this full on sin on this hill to break this hill, to, to try to break onto this new hill right here. And they just, they did just break into this hill, got the kill. Nobody jumped on the hard point right now. They're just looking for kills, trying to find where these Dallas flat tire players could be coming from. Boosie's with the gold MP40. You know, he's been grinding. Crash finally sees players coming down this little, a, a little walkway area, waterway area. He's looking for I'm lagging, but I'm lagging with a nice two piece. Lorenzo down, eating down. Nobody is getting on this hill. Right now, I guess they're just trying to get control, trying to get spines, trying to trying to push in and, and trying to find controls. But there's four down in the favor of Maui Chums to try to get the last 20 seconds of the scrap time. Yeah, kills coming on out. I'm lagging with two. There is going to be going down. And well, this is the position where Dallas Flat Tires. I mean, they. Ha I, I've been seeing some beams. I'm not gonna lie, some nice clean shots. But uh, Maui yeah. Trumps as well, responding well, getting some nice clean shots of their own. And I mean, 230 to 116, down the flat tires. They gotta do something. They can't let Maui Trumps get too much hills here. And well, Ian comes on in. He finds one. He's sort of rotating around the backside. He has number five sort of coming up his rear. Question is, can he get a kill? Does he get the information? Possibly, but. Oh, Chaser, he's trying to hunt down this player. Not quite able to find this quite yet. And, well, there you go. Gets that kill. Gets another. Well, still one more on that hill. Gets a little bit of a hint there. Gets the wall bang there. But uh, is he able to get a kill? Someone, I don't even know. I think 
Jazzer there. I don't even I don't even know, but I mean, yo. Oh. <laughs> and kill after kill after kill once again on that five. We saw him at this earlier. He does have a streak to play with, but Dallas flat tires. I mean, the pressure is still on. They still got to get this rotation looking like that's going to be starting to come into play. But this next hill, I believe, maybe not as a big one for the streak, maybe as some of the others. But, I mean, Jacer's on the hill, just sort of walking around, able to just pretty much shoot down anyone in his way. Yeah, Jacer is making a big play for his team. You said Dallas by Terrace had to do something, and that may have been the something that they needed. Eden has broken, man. Let's see if he can get a kill. So there's, I'm lagging with a nice two piece. Uh, he gets into, but there's, there is the break from Maui Champ with Lorenzo. He's next up. Oh, he's on, but the break is on from uh, uh, Dallas Flat Towers. They're on the hill. They're trying to keep Maui back. Player four, player two. They're up. They're trying to get kills, but there is the kill from I'm lagging. Got there. He's next up. He's, he's next up. He's trying to get in his line. Dallas Flat Towers right now. They're doing a great time. A great job right now of holding these hills as making rotations going right now. I don't know what player six. I don't know if player six is already moving on to the next rotation, but this is what Dallas needs to get back into this game. You'll have to see Lorenzo able to find one, able to maybe find Crash, not quite able to super do so. He will get killed. Well, number six is going to be on the next hard point, but number four from that back end, the information is there. The color should be there that, hey, there's a player on our backside. There you go. Able to find that kill. Able to get another. And, well, on to the next hill as the transition sort of comes on through, but it's going to be down flat tied with the spawns. So they are going to have the initial control. And, well, they're about to cross that 200-point mark, but Maui Chums, he just need two more points. So Dallas flat tires need to pretty much play this hill perfectly and uh, need to get into the next hill as well. But they are very, very close. They can make this game very, very competitive if they can hold on to this hill. But it's going to be a big fight. It's going to be a big fight, Maui Chums. They just need one more point. Well, they're able to get it done, but it ain't easy, that's for sure. That hill was pretty much contested immediately afterwards in the final scoreline, 250 to 205. And, oh, boy, Dallas Flat Tires, they tried to make that run. I mean, we saw that a little bit earlier. He's trying to make a run, but uh, Dallas Flat Tires, I thought they were going to do it. <laughs> yeah, man, I thought they were going to make the comeback. But then when I started if you're hitting a bomb site, you really got to hit it together as a team. And... We'll have to see how this one sort of plays on out. It does look like uh, Maui Trump is going to be going for that ace side as they all push round through the uh, through the side. Possibly just, I think, they're just waiting to see someone, waiting to get some information if they can. Death Flat Tires a little bit more spread out, but definitely focused around that ace site as well. As uh, well, Maui Trump is able to sort of push on in, and Arthur able to maybe find the kill. Not going to quite happen. Lagging able to get the better of him with that gunfight in his massive 75 drum magazine doesn't even need to reload won't well, need to probably even reload within an entire SD match <laughs> if you can hit your shots <laughs> right oh and there's jesse here right there with a kill before he gets shaded out by eaton like you said that out of my time man he, he just he just put the beams on that on got there with the mp40 so boosie's right here making a kill with eaton he didn't make a nice kill. I'm lagging to make it 2-2. Uh, I think Boosters probably know that there is a player behind me. There is Smokes. I, I wanted to see how Smokes was going to be played. We finally get to see Smokes. Oh, Lorenzo with a nice kill on Boosies to make the bomb drop. Eaton, he's no, he's over here. He's looking for this player. Let's see if he's... Oh, Lorenzo, Lorenzo. What a play. Lorenzo with a nice little two-piece to end that round. And as Dallas flat tires to go up 1-0 in the search and destroy. Yeah, and just like that, it is going to be a nice little 1-0 lead off the start. But, I mean, we'll have to see how the other team responds at the moment. I, it could go... I, I don't want to see a team with an early lead. You know, you don't want to see that 3-0. That you know, if you see a 2-1 sort of scoreline, you know the game is starting to get competitive at the start. But we'll have to see how things play on out. Dallas Flat Tires are going to be on the defensive end. But looking like that A site is going to be the push for them. At least it's going to be the one that they really want. And uh, will crash on the side. Might be able to find one. He certainly gets the peak. I think Lorenzo got the peak there as well. Lagging. Getting some shots off. But no kills. Oh, there you go. Sorry. A few kills coming on out. But it's going to be some trades there. As uh, Jassier is able to find one. And while well, Bootsy's there able to get the trade there. And while well, Bootsy's able to find another. And while well, Dallas Flat Tires all alone. Left alone in the 1v3. Lagging left alone. And well, his back turn there just briefly. Maui Chums, they know exactly where he is. They're all hunting him down. I'm lagging. He's going to get shot from the side. Unfortunately, the collapse comes on through just too many players, too many sort of angles to really think about there in the end.
Yeah, too many angles. Too uh too many angles thinking about for I'm lagging, but that right there was just great comms for the size of Maui Chums. Like I said, you know, like I've been saying, the Maui Chums, they've been playing together for a long time. And you can tell that their communication, that their chemistry is on point. Because in that round right there, that right there was just chemistry and comms. Because you could see the movement from the callouts and to get the kills to win that round. 3-1. And now they're going to start off with the bomb, making it to this A site. You can see that uh, Dallas Black Tires sent two players to mid. Uh, one player is outside watching this A site. Lorenzo has the nade. He's throwing it to this A site to try to get some information. Uh, I don't think his nade hit on any, on any information. So you got players watching over this A site. They're taking their time, getting ready to do a slow plant. The smoke is out. The nade is out. The bomb is going down on A. And let's just see how Dallas is going to take over the tire. Take retake this bomb. Yeah. It's going to be Maui Trumps right now with this control around the bomb site. And well, it's going to be down to a 3-3. And well, there you go. JC, are there able to find one? And Magalha is able to at least respond there with the kill. And well, now it turned down to the 2v2. And we'll crash finding one. And oh, well, there you go. Kills coming on out left and right. And it's going to be Maui Trumps able to hold on to that A site control. Able to sort of uh, uh, take down Dallas Flat Tires' is offensive there. Well, I mean, it, I don't think it was easy. Certainly trade left and right in the end there. But. Uh, now it's going to be a nice little 2-1 lead as we uh, have a very, very close S&D so far. It's really just been going uh, back and forth between these uh, mostly offensive sides, I believe. Yes, this has been going back and forth. And you can see that we're getting ready to start off on this round four. Let's see where is uh, where is uh, Dallas Flat Tires deciding to go with this bomb. Like A is the favorable bomb site. We have a sniper sighting. Oh, we got a beam from Crash. Nice headshot on Ty League. There's the sniper play. So I guess if you go outside on this A site, the sniper may be the play. So now we can see the bomb is starting to rotate to this B site. Lorenzo with a nice kill on Boosies to even this up to 3-3. And let's just see uh, how Dallas Black Tires are going to rebound in the rest of this round. Yeah, Jace here there trying to find a kill. Is, kill. is able to find one, but the team kill comes on out, and while well, he's going to be going down, not going to be able to continue uh, this round alive, unfortunately, um, there. So uh, just like that, turns it down to a 2v2. I mean, I think from this side down, it's flat tire. That's the way you want it to get into a 2v2, but it is what it is. But now it's going to be both sides sort of uh, on either ends of the map there, and it's going to be crash. Just chilling there. I think that's a sniper in hand. And well, there you go. You see the bomb carrier get that hit with the stun as well. But the bomb is going to be getting planted. It's going to be going down. But now it's going to be Maui Chumps. The collapse coming in from both sides. Gother on one side. And oh, he sees the backside of one. His teammate's going to fall. He has the information. And well, he's trying to track down the one player. But will get taken down from the other side, unfortunately. And well, just like that, it's going to be a, uh, Dallas Flat Tires with the win there. Yeah, Dallas Flat Tires with a nice win. Way to to circle the bomb back to B to get out of that open space once they hurt that sniper uh, that sniper shot by Crash. But that was a good rebound for Dallas Black Tires to make this series tied 2-2 as we go into this round five. Now we're going to see Maui Chums on offense. Let's see if Maui Chum, what Maui Chums is going to do. But let's see who's going to take this round. This is a big round for both teams to go up in this series. And we can see Eaton. He's going to this mid site, trying to find information through this little wall, this destructible wall. He's looking through. He oh, he finds a kill through that wall. That is so. That 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 is that's platinum material right there. And that was a great kill. Tyleek is the last alive for this team. As three went down in the side for Dallas Flat Tires, and Tyleek is just looking for one player to try to get this bomb. His bomb is rotating around to B. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see right now the 1v3. Telic at 0-3. So if he could clutch this, uh, it would be A going even, but also B. Um, also just incredible. <laughs> but it's going to be circling around that bomb. Going to be starting to go down. Wait, no. Not quite able to find a whole lot there. Is able to sort of scare off the bomb planter there as he sort of works his way around and oh, with timing. And Eden didn't see him. So Taylor Ty there on the side tries to put out some shots. Unfortunately, shots not connecting for him. And well, just like that, Maui Chum's able to get a win, able to sort of uh, maintain the sort of lead. But again, it's back and forth. Um, but it's Maui Chum's right now with a little bit of a slight advantage as they uh, head off uh, with a nice 3 to 2 lead as they start to. Uh, have the mid-game action start to go down.
Yeah, mid game action started to go down. I saw when the bomb was going down, he stopped playing the bomb. I think he wanted to change the side the bomb was on to make sure his team could defend it properly. So, uh, so that's probably what happened why he stopped playing the bomb. But that was a good round by Maui Chumps to plant the bomb to have three guys all spread it out waiting for these players to come around. But this bomb is for Dallas Black Tires going to this A site. Is a shot on Eaton. Eaton is 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 doesn't get killed, but Jassy here gets the first blood on Gother, which puts Dallas Flat Tires up 4-3 in this round. Yes, and uh, well, back and forth, maybe uh, continuing, maybe not. We'll have to see. Bomb yet to be planted right now is uh, they're trying to make this angle happen on A, but it's going to be difficult, I think, for them, possibly, if they get this bomb plant down. We'll have to see. Maui Trumps can start to push on up. They're waiting. This bomb plant's still not quite going down, and well, there you go. Starting to get planted. So now it's going to be the rotation for Maui Chumps. Can they get it done? That is flat tires. Are they going to be in a good spot to sort of really watch their uh, angles? And well, the bomb is uh, certainly, you can't miss it. <laughs> They're shining light there, but I'm lagging. Possibly going to be finding one, maybe on the flank, but there you go. Crash going down. Going to be the first kill as uh, really Maui Chumps start to rotate. Yeah, Maui Chumps starting to rotate. You can see Boosie, he finally gets out. Jesse here. You got Lorenzo playing it right on the bomb, and there's the kill for the size of Dallas Flat Tires to even this series up 3-3. These, these are good, two good S&D teams, but I honestly don't think that the bomb is shiny for them. I think it's only shiny for us. Yeah, so, that's what I was going to say. Honestly, last time I was going to be like, I don't really know if that shining thing is really uh, affecting the players there. It certainly would be annoying if you're lying and trying to watch that bomb. But, I mean, for us, you can't miss it. <laughs> right, right. For us, we can't miss the bomb. But now we get now we see the, the it is tied up. We can see that Maui Chums do have the bomb. They're going for the stage like Jassier. Oh, Jassier with a nice beam. These are the beams that we have missed a whole year to see. That's why we need snipers into this game. Got there with a nice trade on Jassier and make it 3-3. But the bomb is down in this field area. This is a nice little field to this left. The bomb's getting closer to this A site. Um Got there. He's looking for one more. Let's see if he finds a kill. He, he spotted player number five, who is I am lagging. Let's see if, if I'm lagging. Just backed up, playing his life. They know he's back there in that corner. Uh, but I'm lagging. Did get away with his life. Now this bomb probably is going to get planted on A. Yeah, that bomb's going on down. So it's going to be the retake for the side of Dallas uh, flat tires here. And I mean, right off the bat, that was a really big pick. Not just because it was the first blood, but also because that was that. Yeah, that was bombed down. So that. Uh, if Maui Chums, uh, so not Maui Chums, if Flat Tires really realized that, they really could have locked locked it on down. Unfortunately, it was a little bit in the backside, so it's a little bit of a weird angle there, but some kills going on out, and well, it's going to be uh, down to Lorenzo, left alone the 1v2. His doable, I think, you can get it done. You just need to find a player. Oh, there's one to his backside. He finds one. He doesn't quite see the one to his backside. He doesn't see the one to his left, and he's going to go down. The trade comes on out. And well, just like that, Maui Trump still four to three, but we're starting to run out of rounds here a little bit. Yeah, we are starting to run out of rounds. Maui Chumps is going up four three. And this is kind of like, you know, I don't know if you were around when we had our S and D tournament, but on our grand finals day, the S and D tournaments, every most of the rounds went up to these later rounds. So that's kind of like what we're seeing in this. In this match right here, we're going to see later rounds. We're going to see these kids bring out all the best strategies that they can bring out. And right now, we can see Dallas Flat Tires making a push through this B site, coming through this little small room right here to this left side. Boosies is here. Let's see if Boosies can make the play. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have a <laughs> have a little bit of a rude awakening here, maybe in a second. Puts out some shots, finds one, tries to get the second. Not going to quite happen. The trade comes on through, but I mean, he eaten. All alone somehow. I don't even know when that happened, but now he's going to be left alone. The 1v3 and is able to get the bomb carry down. That's going to be good. Nice little turn. Tries to get some pre-fires off. Not quite able to get that kill done as he, uh, in the end, will be going down. But, I mean, that, there was a possibility. I mean, getting that bomb down just like that, that was crucial. If he could have stayed alive just a little bit longer, able to sort of back away, he would have had a, a nice... A nice uh, nice thing to play with a little bit in terms of just you know that they have to go there but at the same time you know the ticking time is ticking on down but it's ticking on down for the other team 
Yeah, time is ticking on down for the other team. As we can see, I mean, Jassier is just starting off with the sniper, getting these first little bloods, getting these nice little picks, which is helping out, which is helping out his team right now. He's looking for one more, but he didn't get one that time. He's, he's still looking for some more sniper size, but now he finally gets taken down by Crash. Crash with his own sniper to make Maui Chums go up in this round. Bomb Planet at A. You guys see two players, player A, player seven. They're the closest to Bomb A, and Boosie's take down Tyler. Lorenzo takes down Gerther. Got there. Lorenzo's looking for a crash. Let's see if he sees him. He's putting a shot on crash. Crash is playing for his life, but there goes. Oh my God, Lorenzo! Lorenzo with a nice two piece. It's him versus Boosies. Bo Lorenzo versus Boosies. Boosies is playing in a nice little spot behind behind the wall, and Boosies with the nice win. And that is Boosies. The clutch is up, but Lorenzo made it interesting. Yeah, I mean, now Mount Ochoa's are in a position where they can take it. They're up five to four. The next round is going to be big to bring it down to that round 11 is really what you want for a side of Dallas flat tires here. Can they get it done? I think I think they can because, again, this this, this s and has literally just been back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. forth. So we'll have to see how this one plays on out as Dallas flat tires. They're going to be on that offensive. And, well, now is a round that you really don't want to break this streak. Yeah, it's round where you don't want to break this streak. You see Eden, he's putting shots down on that little alley down. But there's boosts, there's crashing boosties with two down on, on Tyleek and Jassier. It leaves Lorenzo and I'm lagging in a 4v2. Well, now I'm lagging. is in a 4v1 by itself to try to keep hopes alive for Dallas Black Tires. But he's finally getting chased down. And there's Maui Chumps winning this match and winning this S&D 6-4 to go up in this series 2-0. to zero. Yeah, I mean, that's an unfortunate round to sort of break that streak of you know, going back. Sometimes, um, you know, what do people feel comfortable uh, playing with and as? And Well, the map going to be kicking on off. It is going to be Maui Trumps right now up 2-0. to oh, and They are going to be looking to take the winner's finals. But, I mean, Dallas Flat Tires, they have been putting up a fight this entire series. So don't take the scoreline lightly. That is for sure. Yeah, please don't take the scoreline lightly. I saw the chat did turn up. They said, let's go Leak and Co. So we're going to turn it up for Leak and Co. real quick. Hopefully they can come back in this in this hard point on this Eagle's Nest. But right now, Maui Chums do have control of this P1. But there, as I say that, the, P, the, the hill gets mixy. But there's three down, four down for the size of Maui Chums. They got control of this hill. There's Eaton, got their... They got kills right now. Lorenzo, he's coming. He's looking for a kill. He see if he can find one. He finally finds one. He turns around. He gets crashed. Trying to get a three, but there's boosties to trade him out. And there is Dallas Black Tires to get the rest of that scrap time. But this next hill is getting ready to break, to, 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 to pop off. And it looks like Maui Chums do have player two, which is eating on the hill. Yeah, but it's going to be boozy. He's just sort of looking around the mid. Should be able to find one. Tries to get it. Doesn't quite get the kill. It's going to be going down, but in the hallway, it's going to be easy. Finding one, finding another. Uh, I guess I'm what I'm going to call library books. I don't really know. There seems to be a lot of educational material around there. Maybe studying up a little bit on how you want to break this hill and crash comes on in. He's going to be going down in the backside here. There's going to be flat tires. I mean, he's a little bit a little bit behind right now, but this hill has been one that they've been able to start to soak up some time on and well, I can get in one through the little cutout window. And while the rest of his team just sort of holding back uh, Maui Chums. Yeah, they're just holding back Maui Chums. But I always say that got there with a nice two piece to break into the hill to get the rest of the scrap time. You can see he got one player, Lorenzo, coming through library, which was a good kill by, by got there. Why he break, he's taking off because he knows you have to rotate. He's making his nice little pin, but I don't think he saw his player right there. His right, he didn't see him. And that's Ty League with a nice kill on on got there but Eaton gets a kill on la lagging Eaton with a nice kill on Tyleek they're trying to break into the cell when it's next cell but Lorenzo he gets a nice kill on, on Crash Boosie's with a nice two piece to break into this hill Maui Chumps are in this hill right now there's got there with two piece where he gets traded out by I'm lagging Eaton with a kill on on Lorenzo where he gets traded out by I'm lagging Crash with a two piece where he gets traded out by Tyleek it's like I said but Maui Chumps is controlling the action right now it's getting the time right now and there is another kill by Gother to keep Maui on top of this hill. Yeah I mean with that spot Maui's also sort of stuck in that back spot not really quite able to push on up. They're stuck in a very a tricky situation. 
Well, Boozy's right now on a four streak. You know, no streaks in hand quite yet, but I think the opportunity may be there. It does look like Dallas Blackguards are finally going to be spawning elsewhere on the map, maybe for a half a second there. But, I mean, Maui Chums, they're starting to get that rotation over the next hill. Dallas Flat Tires, no real scrap time for them. And Elgothar is still trying to pop on off on his two streak once again. He did go down, but he's uh, looking to maybe start to make that big comeback happen again for him. But Tyluck. Coming around this back end. Could be big. Could be a nice little play there. His other teammates on that hill. And there's going to be one more player from Maui Trump's on it. He's going to get taken care of. Ty, like, able to get that kill locked in. Able to get that one done. And what Dallas Flat Tires, they didn't need some hill time. They need someone on this hill. And that's going to, that guy is going to be Ty, like, there. Yeah, Ty, like, is going to get this hill. And they do need to get on this hill. But you see Boosie, he's coming in with a two-piece. But he gets traded out by Jassy. A crash with another two-piece. And that is the break. Maui Chums need it. I think Maui Chums, they must love this map because they, they know the routes they're taking. They're getting the breaks. But as I said, they're getting Boosies. Boosies right now, 18 and 8. Boosies right now is showing us why we all love him at this rec league. Why are we going to miss him when he goes to Halo? But right as I say that, there is Dallas with a break. But Maui Chums does have this rotation to start off this next hill. Player six, Jassier, he's first in line. He's looking for a player, but he gets taken now by Crash. Crash is on the hill. Eden gets the first, first up. Player plays his life. He backs up. Eden is on the hill. He's still on this hill. Boosie's with a kill. Gothard with a kill. Maui Chums are now taking full control of this hard point right now. And Dallas Black Tires, they need this play by, God, by Jassier. Right now, he's on a three streak, but he finally gets taken down. And... Right now, they are on the hill, Dallas Black Tires, and that play by Jassier is probably what they needed to get them on this hill. Yeah, Maui Trumps are up 50 points plus 60 points, a full hill worth of control for them so far. Dallas Black Tires, I mean, they're trying to fight, but Maui Trumps just watching every single angle, winning a lot of these gunfights. And while Dallas Flat Tires, they're able to respond with quite a few kills. But in the end, you know, once the dust kind of settles, a lot of these situations, Maui Trump just able to sort of hold on to the points, able to sort of keep the control of the map in general that they really need just to be able to uh, maintain control of the hill, you know, even when Dallas Flat Tires sort of gets these wipes. But eating quite a few kills there. It's going to be uh, on a two right now. They off again taken off of his four i'm liking coming on in trying to find some kills not going to quite happen for him crash going to be going down as well but i mean this point firmly in the hands of uh Mally chums and things are looking very dangerous for the side of dallas flat tires if they can't quite get these rotations over the next hill if they can't break onto this hill gother i mean just holding things on down he finds one should be able to find the backside of i'm lagging and well it does look like that's going to be the case there and well, I mean, it's going to be Dallas Flat Tires, I think, at this point, just desperately trying to hold on to some control of the map. But Maui Chums, they have pretty clearly set the pace of this map. Yeah, Maui has set the pace of this map. Eaton, he's on a six. Boosie's on a five. We see Eaton, he's all the way, pushed all the way in the back. He's looking for player, player seven. Finally has seen him, who is Ty League, to take him off the streak. But Boosie's is still on his five, six streak. Boosie's still on a six streak right now. Maui Chums is up 157, one, uh, to 55 right now. With control of this hill, Eaton is pushing in through the side. But he finally gets taken out. There was a three piece by Jassier to get these players from Maui off the hill before he finally gets traded out. I'm lagging is coming up next, but Maui Chumps, uh, Dallas Black, nobody's on the sale. The streaks are coming in, and there is the streaks from Eaton to get uh, a team player, and I'm lagging. Boosties with a kill, Gotham with a kill, and Maui Chumps all are full on top of this on top of this hill. You can see Jassier with a kill from the cutout window, and there's two players trying to jump into this cutout window. They finally jumped in, but there is the kills in the favor of Maui Chumps, but Jassier, he's still playing back. He's playing his life. And there is the break from uh, Dallas Flat Tires. Yeah, Dallas Flat Tires briefly onto that hill, but not for long there. Maui Trump's able to get a, a kill there. The rest of the team as well, able to wipe off, able to get some control. There's three Dallas Flat Tires right now on the rotation. There's going to be number three in the backside, so a pinch possibly to come into play into the next uh, rotation here as uh, the side of Maui Trump sort of coming in from, uh, I think, multiple different directions. But there he goes. Streak comes on out. Chaser able to find one, maybe able to play and finesse. And well, there you go. Gets one more kill, but there's still quite a, a few players around. A lot for him to watch out for. Eaton with one, trying to get another one. Can't quite get that one done the hip fire not quite there and lorenzo i mean, honestly just looked like he's blowing himself up with an eight i think he got hit but still just the body is flying everywhere left and right so far but in the end it's gonna be maui trump's getting this little bit of a spawn trap i think a little bit on this side this is something that dallas struggled uh struggled with last time around and while they're continuing to struggle a little bit they're able to sort of get on in a little bit but 
I mean, no real firm control from them as Maui comes able to start to get control of this hill. And well, at the end of this one, they only need one more hill and they can have the win. Yeah, they need one more hill and they can have the win. And you can see that player two, Ethan, he was trying to make the play. Gother is keeping the rest of the scrap time. Uh, Dallas by tires are pushed up in the middle. They do have control of this hill. I think this is the library hill. If I'm not being mistaken, this may be the library hill. So they're holding down this last little area right now. Maui Chum just got to get one last break to get into this hill. And there's the break right there. They hold it for this next 15 seconds. They can win this game. But as I say that, Lorenzo, he gets the player off the hill. He, he He's on the way. He's waiting close. There is Jazz here with the, with the kill on Crash. He's looking for one more. But there's Gother. And there's the break that Maui needed. But here comes all of Dallas coming through this back door. There's a kill from I'm lagging. Kill from Lorenzo. He just needs to get he just needs to get one more, two more kills. And then he just one more for Jazz here. So they need one more. And then they can get on this hill. And there's the break they need to get on this hill and but Maui Chunks probably is good with that so they could just they only need six seconds left to win this game so they're probably just gonna just rotate to next and try to win it there yeah and this map can be so scrappy that I think Maui Chunks really shouldn't have a problem closing this one out with, with the time that there is left I think again there's a possibility we saw last time around Dallas Flight make a huge attempt at a comeback but I mean with the streaks coming on out I don't know if there's any more streaks left in anyone's back pocket at the moment but it's going to be tricky with the scoreline. I mean, Dallas Flat Tire is not quite at the 100 point mark. So for Maui Chum, this, it's going to be tricky. And well, there you go. The streak coming on out is going to be more or less killing himself and his own teammates instead. But I mean, now Maui Chum's just one point away. Dallas Flat Tire is getting out of that 100 point club mark. But I mean, it's going to be still very tricky as shots going on out. And Maui Chum's able to get the better of them, able to get the kills they need, able to close that map on out. 250 to 103 in the very end of that. And that brings them to a nice little 3-0. But again, I think this map was definitely I think, uh, of of the of the three maps, definitely the one that was the more dominant one. But the other two, I mean, they were close. You know, both teams 